Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Eric defies orders, Brooke worries a mid-feud, Lai reveals a secret. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Wednesday, October 18 indicate that Eric Forrester defies his croaker. It's orders to finish his collection. Brooke Logan worries over Eric and Ridge Forrester's feud. Lee Finnegan eventually reveals her secret to John Finn Finnegan. Eric Forrester refuses to hear to his croaker. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Donna Logan has called Eric's croaker because he's sticking up blood and refused to tell the croaker. Himself, Eric is used to being the head of his family and not fussing about being ill or incapacitated in any way. Eric has always been a force to be reckoned with, not coddled. Eric is determined to finish this final collection and prove that he's better than Ridge. Still, Eric is formerly counting on R.G. Forrester to help him negotiate this feat. To quit now would mean giving in and losing to Ridge, who refused to work with him. Eric is determined to see this through or dietrying. Brooke Logan is upset about this feud Brooke doesn't understand why Eric didn't want to work with Ridge on this design. Brooke also wasn't there when Eric asked for Ridge's help and he refused. Ridge wanted no part of this heritage collection and that's why Eric signed RG to help him. Now RG is indeed drawing designs of his own in addition to helping Eric. Brooke is also terribly concerned about Hope Logan and Thomas Forrester's relationship. Thomas knows that Hope doesn't feel the same about him and Brooke is sure this will lead to a relapse of his preoccupation. Deacon Sharp and Sheila Carter clearly aren't making effects any easier. However, Finn has no idea why his mama is acting this way. Finn doesn't see anything wrong with Luda Nozawa working with RG and Eric and honestly he believes it's good for the youthful girl. Why is Lai so dead set against Luna perfecting her situation? Finn refuses to let up until his mama starts talking. Unfortunately, Lai has a huge secret and Finn may wish he didn't know that answer when the Verity comes out. What's Finn's real connection to Luna and why does Lai want her out of city? Luna didn't indeed communicate Finn, RG did so, what's the big secret and why does Lai not want Luna around? Finn finds out Poppy's mistake, Donna snaps. The bold and the beautiful spoilers recap for Wednesday, October 18, reveals that Ridge Forrester worked on further fashion show medications and upset about what it would do to Eric Forrester when he lost the competition. Ridge was thankful that R.J. Forrester was working with Eric, but he told Brooke Logan that he was going to beat the pants off both of them. Although Eric wanted to come back and run the company again, Ridge claimed it didn't work like that now that he was in charge. Rather, Ridge felt like Eric should be relaxing and off living his life. Brooke was eager for the competition to be over and hoped Ridge would flash back how important he loved Eric in the midst of all this. Ridge indeed loved Eric, but he acted like this grand homestretch was meaningless and anticipated Eric to put out analogous collection in a many times since he wasn't going anywhere. At the Forrester manse, Donna Logan grew frustrated over the lack of answers regarding Eric's condition. Colin Colby heeded to Eric's heart and advised that Eric's bouts of coughing up blood were veritably serious. Eric refused to drop his heritage line or gutter the fashion competition, but dear. Colby was concerned over the added stress. Donna agreed that Eric demanded to back down from this challenge, but Eric grew angry and cried that nothing was going to stop him, not indeed his croaker. Donna complained about not having an opinion yet and sounded bothered as she suggested perhaps they should get alternate opinion. After Donna apologized for overpassing, Dr. Colby claimed he understood since we'd do anything for the people we love. Once there. Colby said he'd be in touch with further updates soon he headed out. Eric assured Donna that he wasn't frenetic at her for calling her. Colby, but this competition was commodity heat to do. After Eric made a speech about his need to produce beauty, he told Donna that it was who he was as a man and an artist. Donna ultimately declared that she was with Eric 100%, so he asked if that was, till the end, and had her echo it back to him. Eric and Donna participated a kiss before looking into each other's eyes tenderly. In the Forrester Creations design office, Luda Nozoa brought RG a honeydew drink and formally again thanked him for defending her to Lee Finnegan. RG also thanked Luna since he'd been suitable to open up to her about Eric's condition. 
Luna assured RJ that the secret was safe since she wouldn't say a word. Latterly, RJ plotted over the fact that he couldn't partake the news of Eric's condition with Ridge, so Luna offered support and pulled him into a clinch. At the sanitarium on Wednesday's occasion, John Finn Finnegan pushed for word on the bad blood between Lai and Poppy Nozawa, so Lee admitted that her family nearly ruined her career. Lai explained that she got Poppy a job at the sanitarium gift shop and tried to give her steady work. Poppy slept with the principal surgeon until this woman set up out, which led to Lee paying the price. Lei claimed she was criticized since she got Poppy the job in the first place. It wasn't long until Lai suddenly started losing shifts, and also she had to transfer to another sanitarium altogether. After Lai said she refused to let Poppy and Luna destroy her life again, she added that she didn't want them destroying Finn's life moreover. Lai lumbered over Poppy living a life that was so free and easy with no regard for their parents or how her family had suffered. As Lai blustered about it being illegal, Finn heeded and still looked a bit confused. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say there may be further to the story, so stay tuned to see if Lai's catching a far worse secret. Details about Eric Forrester's death the bold and the beautiful spoilers say that everyone's lives are about to get flipped upside down as Eric Forrester's health will continue to decline. In fact, there's heavy enterprise that the Forrester Creation CEO will have a near-death experience that will clearly leave his family with a better appreciation of him and everything that he's done for his favored bones. Over the times, keep reading below for everything you need to know. Details about Eric Forrester's death during the most recent occasion of The Bold and the Beautiful, Donna Logan was shocked when she saw her hubby Eric Forrester had coughed up some blood. She was indeed more surprised to find out that this wasn't the first time that it has happened. She incontinently called the croaker, and when he arrived, the first thing she asked was whether or not her hubby was dying. The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers say that Eric's health is clearly going to get worse before it gets better there's a veritably good chance that he's going to put in his veritably last trouble to make his fashion line his stylish work, yet just to prove to everyone that his gift was still there, indeed though his health was not. He wants to make his line his grand homestretch. Still, his family and of course Donna will all be devastated to learn that his final hours are upon him. What's next for the Forrester family? But because no cleaner pieces plot ends the way you'd suppose it would end, Eric Forrester is going to leave everyone shocked with what happens coming. Everyone knows that you're no way really dead indeed if that last nail is pounded into your paw. Eric is going to prove to everyone that his love for his work and his family along with his willpower to survive is all he'll need in order to reach the finish line. Of course, suckers will have to tune in to find out what will be coming. The bold and the beautiful suckers. What do you suppose of this story? Watch this space as we have a feeling there's so much further to come. Go ahead and let us know what you suppose by adding some buzz in our commentary section. Also, do not forget that the bold and the beautiful charade weekdays on CBS. You will need to check your original rosters for times. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.